Hi, my name is Dr. David Nicholl. I'm a neurologist in Birmingham. I want to welcome you to your telemedicine appointment. But before you come, uh, I just thought it gives you some tips and advice on what to do. Um, so just plan the appointment beforehand, preferably have someone with you that can help. Uh, this helps me, for example, if you've got other problems like a tremor, that you're not holding a camera and struggling with it. Um, make sure you're in a room that's big enough that you can walk up and down. Um, and you know all of this will help. Uh, I've done some very quick clips on how not to do it. Um, I've got a very stupid patient along called me, okay? Um, and I'll just show you some things I've learned on how not to do it. Hopefully that'll help. So if you're a patient at home and you're doing a telemedicine consultation, I just thought I'd show you a couple of things some tips on how not to do it, like this. So make sure you got the camera positioned correctly so it's not sticking up your nose. So make sure you do it in a room that's big enough so the doctor asks you to walk in, up and down. There's enough room. This really wouldn't do. Um, maybe think about the lighting. Don't be somewhere to be that's too bright because I can't see you or that's too dark because I won't be able to see you either I know it's quite thoughtful of people to hold up their yellow tablets to the camera I can't really tell um, and I wouldn't want to make a drug error because that's an important cause of patient harm so really there are much better ways of doing things so maybe have your prescription um, but make sure it's you know clear and I can see it and also be in a room where you've got um, a decent internet connection as well because uh, really drug errors are so important and it's really important I know exactly what medication you're taking. And again try not to do come to neurology art patients in your car because really I can't examine you in a car there's just not enough space. So the message is really take this appointment seriously think about the environment that you want to talk to your doctor um, and so that we've got the time and we can just give you the best possible consultation. Uh, so just think about these basics and maybe have someone with you in the room to help because um, that would help as well, you know, to manage the camera and things like that. And if you feel it's just not possible, uh, speak to us and we'll find a different way. And, you know, I love my dog, but I wouldn't bring my dog to a clinic because, you know, they kind of bark and get in the way. So maybe skip the dog during our patients okay it's not a good idea okay not in those clips okay they might seem a bit silly having a dog and that kind of thing but um the frivolous point really was to um get you to all everyone think about the environment they're in and that what we want to do is get the best uh, possible information and the best quality care for you so just uh, try to avoid some of those little traps I showed in the clip just um, and we look forward to meeting in the Department of Neurology soon. Thank you.